afternoon, this is Pete, Common Search, and we're just about to go into an ideal boiler that's got an L2 fault. Customer calls us yesterday, L2 fault won't go away even on reset, so she's asked us to walk around and take a look, which I'm happy to do. Turn this off. Um, L2 fault, what do I look for? First thing I do, I look at condense. A lot of the time, condense traps bottle. Even if I don't think it's a condense, I'll take the trap out and give it a quick clean up anyway, because it's a nice thing to do. A lot of people don't get their boilers serviced annually, so it helps to filter out. So there's another call out. Then I'm looking at a quick look at the flue, make sure they haven't got clematis growing through the damn thing or anything like that. Then I'm looking at gas pressures under the um, test point under the boiler, make sure you've got a decent pressure there. Then when there's a call, make sure there's actually an adjustment in that pressure. Um, so if you've got 22 and then you know the boiler's trying to kick in and he drops a little bit, you know the gas valve, semi-proving the gas valve in my mind at that point. Then we're looking to see if we've got a spark. Have we actually got a spark from the uh, ignition uh, electrodes? If we have, great. If we haven't, we're then looking at the uh, electrode, uh, the spark generator. Um, I suspect on this spark generator, but not being in yet, let's go and have a look and assume that there's something wrong. <laughs> there's got to be, aren't there? Anyway, here we go. So we're on the job. I've already checked gas pressure, gas pressure sound. Um, we're just waiting for him to error out at this point. Is he going to do it? I think it's this video. I can't hear any sparking. Um, so immediately out, I'm thinking spark electrodes. There he goes, there's your error. Can't hear any sparking. So power off. Let's get the multimeter out. The plug that's in the bottom there, take him out. Get your multimeter on him when he tries to spark. You should be getting about 240 volts off that. So we're gonna stick our probes in on the live and neutral. You can see live's on one, neutral's on two from memory. And we're getting our multimeter. So brilliant stuff. Let's get it in. Get your probes in there. One and two. Get your multimeter, turn your power on. So that's kind of a, a, a standing pressure, if you will. Uh, standing pressure voltage so when he starts to spark in a minute you will hopefully see him go up to 240 volts I say hopefully I've already done this job I know it does so he'll jump up to 240 volts and what that's proving is that the generator is actually getting the correct voltage if for instance he's not doing he's not getting 240 volts there then i'd be testing at the pcb because there could be an issue with the wiring up to that point so then i'd be testing pcb to see if you're getting 240 out of there if you're not then chances are the pcb is knackered so you can see there we're getting 240 volts ish when he tries to kick in it's at 242. um let's say if you're not getting it test it at the pcb once you test it at the pcb um it then gives you a definitive answer as to whether the pcb is knackered or maybe a bit of cable between the two so you can kind of rule out but I started that plug and uh, work my way down and in the next little video you can see two volley volts there again I've actually got the replacement part here which will then just power off obviously electrical safety checks done previously and all that um, nice easy take the cable out under your screw Obviously, don't lose your screw. Oh, well, you do get one in the new kit, but don't lose your screw. Make sure you put the earth cable back in uh, on its little clamp. Otherwise, you will get errors down the line. Screw out. Like that. Just like that. Come on. There you go. Well done. Take your unit out. And guess what? Stick your new unit. Yeah. Stick your new unit back in, get your earth clamp, get your screw, get it all in nice and tight. Try and do it one handed without looking like a pillock. Get your screwdriver screwed in. Surely I put this video down a bit because it's dragging on. I bet I did. No, I didn't. Damn. Wait there a minute. There we go. Right, so that's me pretending to screw it in after I've already done it. Um, right, so you screwed in now. Put your ignition cable back in. Put your power cable back in. Put the boiler back on. 
probably should use that clip again and we turn the boiler back on, shouldn't I? Uh, boiler back on. There we go. So before, obviously, we just get he was attempting to light several times, and not a lot was happening. Except your L2 error. So this time we've got our new pieces in. I have it, I have changed the electrodes in this, as I'll explain at the end. I'll do a little video for the end or something. Um, I tend to do it as a matter of course. Um, if if one goes, if one ain't far behind, the twenty odd quid it saves the customer calling you out again in six months or whatever when the electrodes start wearing. These were worn, you could see them. Anyway, boy was kicked in. Everyone's happy. Do our little gas sniffer test all round because we've we've obviously gone into it's a new seal on there, but. I like sleeping at night, I'm a bit weird about this stuff. Uh, gas sniffer all the way around him, make sure there's no uh, leaks, nothing escaping, make sure we don't need to replace that main gasket on the burner. He seems sound to me, so we're happy to proceed, even though I'm carrying on. Come on, finish up. Oh, picture of a boiler, Whee, that's me. Right, I think this is me coming up next as well. Right, just got off, just got on from that job, I'll be lunch now. Um, so on that one, I didn't show it on video, sorry. There was no spark at all, um, so it just made sense to me that the ignite unit, ignition unit, was gone. So we did that quick check just to make sure we had the correct power. But if it, if that hasn't, if that's got the correct power, then we know that the um, we'll adjustment of the camera. If that's got the correct power, we know that the ignition unit is probably on its way out or gone. So swap that over. I did the electrodes at the same time because the seal was a bit knackered. You could see it on part of the video, I think. Um, the seal was a bit knackered. Good practice to do that anyway. The 20 odd quid, just smash one in because it keeps it going for a while. And uh, I think that ball was about six years old. <sighs> Hope that helps. And just hit the subscribe button. You never know. I'll try and do more. I'm getting loads of emails, people asking me to do more. I will do when I get a chance. Sorry if I don't reply, but you know, busy. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Have a good one. And uh, take care of yourselves. Pete, can't be sir. And the vaccine's out. And that penguin thing that the kids are dressed in a Santa uniform. Take care. Ta-ra.